it's right at the corner. It's secluded. Right next to the smith. Wouldn't have to worry about going too far. Morning, Kyler. Morning. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, too. It's fine. Honestly, Paul's just gone, starting to get sick of having to sleep outside as well. Yeah, they ain't gone. The house is empty. Just thinking maybe a possibility. I don't know what happens with the lease with that. You'll have to check it. <clears throat> it's not a bad little right. place. <clears throat> and it at least give us some privacy. Properly rest. Yeah, you're gonna stop sleeping on my roof. Not like we want to be up here. Yeah, I know. Good luck, you two. Have a good day. Thank you.
go through it. Hey, Arka. How are you this morning? About the same. How was your night? Didn't get up to too much trouble, did you? Good. <clears throat> Need to sleep? Good. I was up reading and planning until I eventually somehow fell asleep and then I woke up and now I'm here. <clears throat> it's what I have to do, it's my duty as a lord since my father is not doing so well I have to fill in the gap so to speak. <clears throat> Try to be. Thanks, Akka. Got any big plans for today? No? No wrist. No. Nothing bad. Good. <clears throat> How's your arm? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How's your arm? Good. I've had one of those bone fixy potions before. They're never fun, are they? No. How are you finding Nautis? Me, good. Everyone else, bad. Yeah. The standard for. Well, the standard of people here isn't as high as other places, but there are some gems amongst the rough. Good, bad. 
Oh, my father. Uh, he's one of the good ones, yes. You. It's windy. Eyes. Taller. Dredge? You haven't seen my dad. He's not well. He got injured really badly. And the clinic's looking after him. Making sure he's okay. Hopefully. <clears throat> you... Help? I don't think there's anything we can do. In fact, I tried to see him the other day and they wouldn't let me in. It's up to him and the surgeons now, from what I've heard. You help me? I'm not sure what there is to do to help, unfortunately. A lot of what I have to do is very hoity-toity stuff, but if there is something that pops up that I could use your help with, I'll come find you, okay? Good. <clears throat> I have to take a walk around the city to make sure everything's okay. Do you want to come with me? Come on, then. Morning, Mr. Wolf. Morning. How are you today? I'm content. There's nothing to change. Not for the moment. Good. <clears throat> yes, hello, Arka. You can stop waving now. Mm -hmm. That brings you to my perch. Just stopping by, seeing how you're doing. Mm. Patiently, I wait. Who knows who needs of me and who does not? I do not know. So I wait to see who does and who, do who does not. My own ambitions are at a standstill. <clears throat> Not here. What? Tall person. Dredge? Dredge not here. You haven't seen Dredge today, have you? No. Mm, if he's around, you'll be at the camp. It is early. Or at least coming from there. <clears throat> Someone else not here? Okay. Nah, don't worry about it. Come on. Well, I mean, yesterday I didn't really see or mm. do or hear much, so I'm gonna need to catch up on that. The clinic's empty right now. <clears throat> no, I would take that to be good news, if nothing else. Empty on noise. Uh, hey, real quick thing. Uh, about those emergency bandages I gave you from before. <clears throat> I would have left them for you. You should have them back. Oh, you did? Where? Well, they were on the horse with Arn when I took him in. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on, let me check the shelves then. <clears throat> I might have missed it. Double check, I believe I gave them. Just, you know, I don't have them anymore, so... 
Speaking of which, no, any, I understand. I'll reach. Any news on? Check up on that. My father. Ooh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, what were you going to say? Any news on my father at all? The Imperials have been kind of mum about it. Um, that's what I'm. I'm actually wanting to go and check up on that right now. Please do, and if there's any change, do let me know. I'm a little concerned that they won't. They've already lied about his condition before. Let me know if he becomes able they to lied? be lied. Yeah, they said he was fine, but then changed it later that he was going in and out of consciousness and losing his pulse and such. Their reasoning was that I needed to continue my duties, but even when asking to see him, they wouldn't allow me to. So I'm a little apprehensive about keeping him there. That's the Lord and your father. At least they have a little bit more information on that, if, if without something important. I'll go check up on him. I appreciate that. I'll leave and I'll give you the hands. right information. Thank you so much. Yeah, please, I'm, I'm going to need to stick around there now a little bit longer anyways, if they're going to do that. I'm going to need to ask them why they fucking said that type of info to you. You don't deserve that type of information. The Inquisitor said it was so that I could carry on my duties without worrying too much about him. <sighs> of course he'd say that. The Inquisitor would always say shit like that. Alright, I'll go up and check up on that, as well as the bandages. I'll check one of the shelves. It's probably It was probably moved around right over there without my icing ways. Yep. I'll check up on that <laughs> right now. You take care. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Haven't seen you in a hot minute. How are you? Hi, good morning. I'm alright. Uh, don't tell me. Tuzim is... Is it, is it Master Blacksmith? Shariq, yes? Uh, Lord Erhard, no. I'm doing away with fake names. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have been away for a while. I've uh, referred to as Ziggy, but that's probably a little in more formal. Informal. It's very informal. No one has ever called me Zed. Right. Except for maybe Torty. Um, I, Amon Ziegler. Ziegler, that's right. Forgive me, it's or been a while. Ziegler. Ziegler. It's fine. Uh, well, with the promotion, I, I hope things have been well at the blacksmith and in your other endeavors. We don't really have much iron, so we can't really blacksmith, and in terms of being a lord and such, it's been water wall busy, so we're doing our best to keep hold of what we have, yeah. I suppose, at this point. I suppose it comes with the territory, both in the literal and... <clears throat> Heavy as the head and all that, yes. <laughs> but you know a bit about that, wouldn't you? Yeah, what's that about? A uh, little, perhaps. Uh, mm -hmm. Not exactly ruling over <clears throat> dynasties. No. No. Well, I'll leave you to it, and if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to come find me. Um, I did hear this morning about uh, the recent loss of uh, Longbeard Morden, as well as... Yeah. Mr. Jensen and uh, a few others who I was less familiar with. Um, while I only knew a few of them for a short time, they were very good to me, and um, I understand that you were uh, close with them as well. Very. So, uh, you have my condolences. Thank you. That's very kind of you. That's all right. Uh, it seems that... Uh, um, <coughs> it seems that, uh, I forgot his, I forgot his fake name, um, Markle and, uh, uh, fuck. Bezrin? Bezrin. It's quiet. Are, um, If you're not eager to tell me the details, of course I could understand, but apparently the bodies were not recovered? Is that...? <sighs> Some is of them. Correct? I, again, I wasn't there, so I don't know the details, and I've only heard from, like, third-party people, so... Seems to be the case for Do a Do you few know where this happened? No. They didn't go into details. <sighs> Alright. Well, uh, I won't bother you with it for further. You are 
seem to be as much in the know as I am. <laughs> yes. Um, Have any of you seen Miss Bladia? She didn't show up at the schoolhouse today. The class. I'm afraid not. Well, where could she be? Where's Miss Bladia? Can we find her? I assume she was at the uh, oh. clinic. Bladia's not around. Oh, uh, Torty, don't. In case you want to wear, yesterday Lottie was captured by robber baron men. Maybe she's just over sleeping. So it's hard for that. It's hard for that. I see. Well. I don't know how old I'm supposed to be. Just so you're aware. So you're <clears> in that camp of things. <laughs> yes, I uh, morning. need to talk to someone real quick. Hey, Torty. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Scrongle. Wow. Wow. How are you doing? <clears throat> Tired, but I'm on my feet. And you? Uh, same. I slept pretty good, though, for once. <laughs> it's been a little while since I not had a nightmare, you know? Good. I'm happy for you. Hey, little yeah. scrungly boy. Hey, little scrungly boy. <clears throat> Everything okay so far today? No terrible things have happened yet. My door is standing. Everything is in place in there. All, all my stuff is I stored away so nobody could steal it even if they tried. So that is something. It's a nice change from the standard. What's wrong, Scrungles? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, I know, buddy. Mwah. I miss her too. Oh. As you make your way through town, you know the dire strength. Hey, oh. How's it going? <sighs> going all right. Slow day, but I mean, better than terrifying and exciting, I guess. Yeah. May isolate the Imperial forces and force an exit. Path before you is uncertain. Good morning. <sighs> Kyla. Soma. Uh, over here you by are. the forge. That's the kink in my neck, yeah. I'm pretty good. Good morning. <laughs> morning. There you go. <laughs> You need to talk with you. Marin. As you stand here, for a moment you recall back to last night the kidnapping of Lady Hyde. Fuck! Now, suddenly, you're beginning to realize the truth that no the god soldiers. They're not a god. Caught one soldier coming running down the stairs, I brought him running over, tried to make it short and sweet, um, to see if his condition noticed that he wasn't here in the infirmary, so I asked him where he might have been. If they moved him or something, they said the Major took him out. Out there. They took my father. No, they, they didn't, like... I believe he's leading right now, I can only fucking assume. That's my only fucking assumption, I don't know. Unconscious and no matter the fact that he... Known if he would be awake ever. <clears throat> he can't be leading right now. Yeah, no! <sighs> other than that, I don't have any other much fucking information. I'm gonna be standing right by the fucking infirmary to see, to see them coming back. I'm gonna question the Major and a couple of others of why I was, wasn't really told this as much. Fill me in when you can. Thanks, Soma. I will. Please leave it to me. Alright. <sighs> God damn it. See this shit I have to put up with?
Oh, Vezran went this way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you need? What do you hear? How much you got? Uh, <laughs> thank you. I'll be right by the infirmary. Oh, no, that's not cool. If they go up to that embassy, they'll be destroyed. NBC is a much more better place than it is here. If they attack not as the empires. I just don't hope they get that far. Empire won't be able to do much for a while. What do you mean? You haven't heard. Last night, Lady Heidemann was captured by the robber baron. Which would mean talks would go through for the Imperials to stand down, which likely they will. So... We'll have to see. Fuck, they're leveraging a hostage. Yes. A lady, no less. Yes. Shit. If there's no Empire help, there's no doubt they're being pushed back. What chance would they stand? <sighs> yeah, Below. I don't know. I don't know what talks went through or, or anything. I haven't heard anything from the front yet. I gave them the order to prepare for a fighting retreat if need be and to use the bridge if things came to that, but that's the best I could do. So I have no idea what it's like. What of your father? Is he awake yet? I don't know. Last I heard, he was still in a coma and probably wouldn't be out, but then I was just told by Soma that the Major took him somewhere? Probably to the front lines. Ah, he's... Oh. He can't do much in a fucking coma. Mm-hmm. Me? He probably was yeah. asleep. Completely out of yeah, the Yeah, we kind of do have similar up. hair. You just leave him in the infirmary. <sighs> you good. We're good? Cool. Good. But nothing is certain. All I know is it's not good news to hear the Empire cannot do anything. The entire reason being here is helping. And if they can't do that... Stressful times. Rab? Up there? We'll talk later, okay? As you wish. If you want to, I suppose. Mm. I'm not much on my schedule today. I'm going to try and see what's going on, and then we'll link up. Keep us updated. God. Um, if they put if you are... to this dance, then... Lad, he, he didn't make it back. Mm. When he went out. So we're not gonna see him at the dance in the summer camp. I totally get it.
everywhere you go, there's politics. Well, you said you In fact, it makes people further their, their job or, or, or noble, right? Right. Do people live up there? Yeah. The people up there. One guy thinks he has the claim to it, but that's, that's you know, Richard Barry. He wants to make a statement. So the rest of us pay for it, I suppose. <laughs> Ride. Helmet. Have to make him pay. Right. Of course. Crown. Lord. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Lord out there. Happens, I can help. More important than ever. Get the lords to ride out there. I appreciate you, Kit. Absolutely. You should talk to Pelican. A lot of Hawkwork is close to Ride. the right now. Maybe we can conscript them to help with the walls. Grab. Hmm. Well, maybe. Take. Hmm. I was going to say, Pull. I, I don't have a Pull. plan of job at the moment. Over there. Anything. Why would they take him over there? Um, <coughs> well, it kind of be the same with uh, good old Kit here. I need help building the wall. Um, also bring, like, buckets of water so we all stay hydrated and stuff. And the grab the <laughs> lords. That could be useful to it, right? Horses. I, I won't expect Take. you to do any heavy horsing, but uh, there's, there's other stuff. Take. I, well, I can put stone on top of other stones. And take the crown, yeah. take the keep. Oh, brick is he wants to water. take the keep or take it out there. Hi. These are pretty big stones. Yeah, they're large. Hi. Well, if there's anything else, take the. I don't know what this is. How about Kit with the mortar? Me. It's kind of like painting cement. Fight out of the there. Brick. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I need to figure it out, I so I need to find someone. You know, later in the day to, to help out when I'll catch up with both of you. Why? Fight. So morning hug. How fight? Fighting. I did not. Where? What? What happened? I don't know. I just it seemed like I heard a lot of noise. Hmm. Well, I don't hear anything here. Maybe it was in my dreams. I don't know. Maybe. I have to try and find someone that knows what's going on. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll make it through the day. Alright. Alright. This is Solid. I'll catch up with you. <sighs> Marcus, get ready to change into your armor if you need to. I don't know if you will, though. Just be on standby. I could just go on in it. If you feel better. <laughs> Absolutely. What are we looking for? You saw Dario. <sighs> Give me a second. Sure. Hello, stranger. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Uh, one of these days, maybe we'll have like a, a calmer night. Uh, where is the... Uh... Excuse me, Soma, did you see Marco walk in any particular direction? Uh, I don't know, but Marco was just right here, along with Miss Martin. I can't really yes, remember uh, what it walk. was. Back outside. Okay, I'll check the shop. Thank you. Please do. Oh, hold on a minute. <clears throat> he can't get the <sighs> I was informed that they're going to be bringing an injured. So I can only assume that's where they'll probably be coming from, if anything. There's been clashes at the front that I've heard. You think as a lord that's in charge of the Redoubt forces, you'd get updates, but... 
No. Fucking jack shit. Especially not <clears throat> this early, I don't think. <sighs> Haven't seen anything else. <sighs> He's a scrungly boy. By the way, I did check. The bandages were under the counter. Someone must have brought him in without letting <clears throat> me know. Good. I'm glad Got you that restocked. Now. Yeah, no. Right now, I just need some bolts of cloth. Maybe a little bit of uh, leather to go along with the wood <clears throat> that I've got to make some more splints. Splints right now are what I'm trying to see if I can find out. Hey, Kyler, hey. um, could we talk somewhere? Sure. Your shop? Yeah, my shop or your place, it doesn't really matter. You've upgraded your door, at least. Uh, uh yeah. Um, Marcus was going to give us a reinforced door. What's in your um, mind? Something's wrong with Vaz. Yeah, I He's like picked up on that. Super not there. Like, at all. He's not... That's not Vaz. I know. <sighs> Down there changed him, I guess. I... I don't know what to do about that. Oh, I plan to talk to him later. I'll see if I can suss him out a little bit and let you know, okay? Okay, please do. Because first, you know, a couple of nights ago, how he looked at me, he looked at me like an animal. And now it, he's not there at all. He's just gone. And yeah, please let me know. I will. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I thought that would be a lot longer of a talk, but you know, oh, fuck. That's uh, all right. We'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. How's the um, uh, hunt for the chess pieces? Um, well, no new leads yet, but hey, keep you know, off we have to... Get off this main street. They're barreling into town. Bye. There's a bunch of cars are barreling into town right now. Oh, okay. This is all coming off the main road. I figured standing atop the wooden infrastructure was a good idea. Got your work cut out for you today, Soma. Off the cart. Give them room. No, it isn't. Sergeant. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. The robber baron started a counter push with the Imperials pulling back. Yeah, they weren't helping us at all. We lost 123, 46 wounded. We lost about a mile of land. Kroskis were pushed our way back to our palisade. I see. Was the major there? He was spectating in the. Damn it! Tense. You didn't happen to see my father at all, did you? Why, why do you carry your dad? He was there as well. He was on the front line. Fighting? Thank you. I appreciate it. On horseback, not fighting. I see. You two, hey, Lurdy. You two want to help? I appreciate it. Fuck. Nothing you could okay. do. Do what you need to do to get you wounded. Um, supplies, did we manage to pull them back like I asked, or did they push too far? We lost them too. There's gonna be more rolling in. I don't know that extent. That's fine, men. that's okay. Alright. Carry on, Sergeant. Let me know if you need anything. About a third of our forces of course. Get... Fuck. They're at the cross keys in now. Uh, they hold to see. The pass across there. Damn it. Not great. They're across, actually. Bueno is lost. They're almost at our camp. Yeah, I would like some tea. 
Any news? Nothing good. It was as we suspected. Without the Imperiums, we got pushed back. We lost over 130 men. That far. Past the cross keys. That to our palisade. I think that that. How many men is that in total lot lost? Into perspective for me. A hundred men out of how many? About a third of our forces. But that's. F mm. That's troubling news. I don't think there's any. Well. Just think of how they're gonna start arming us with spears and sending us out now. I'm fine. I just have one more report. Unsure if you were unknown of this, but they have siege weapons. <laughs> Trebuchets. Already yeah. built up. That's what took out a majority of us. I wonder when they were going to play those. Understood. Thank you. I don't know what siege weaponry. <coughs> I know that without the use, we're. <coughs> I should do something quick. At this point, we might as well. What can we do? Ideally, get Ladia back. Plus, he's getting money back. Ladia? The reasons the imps pulled back. <sighs> Damn it. So what do we do then? Right now, prep for a siege, start stockpiling. Tell that to the friends too. We can't go on an offensive anymore. Understood. How severe the situation is, this would not have happened. And that is why there'll be an execution. Plans, I guess. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Seen it once before myself. Was one Trump. Okay. Trump card event. Look away. Yeah. Should check your voice box. It's a little uh, cutty. Just saying, the fact that they have siege equipment and they're pushing forward past the keys. Not that the imps are pulling back because of Ladia, it's... It's all a mess. I'm aware. If what I think is going to happen, we're going to see an execution. Kyla. Where is Tang? I haven't seen him yet. Some other falling dead. At least not today. When you find him, tell him I need my sword. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Got it. This brings back memories. They're heading to the keep or the arena. <sighs> None of it. Now your like voice is too sensitive. I can like smell your breath. People here. It's a problematic thing. I understand. Is that better? Much better. I'll be okay. right back. The 
they're going to execute somebody, who are they? Sanders. Sanders? Why? He was head of security and he didn't secure the noble. <sighs> Don't get too close. Outside of Ludwig, he's the only other imp that we really know in there. Those of you that are queasy might not want to watch this. Why? What's happening? An execution, apparently. Wait, execution? Who? This. Probably isn't the place you want to be right now, Torty. Oh, shit. All right. Let me know what happens. That's, um, what's his name? Sanders. Sanders. What's going on? What's going on? Not entirely sure. An execution. An execution or a lashing. Lashings, by the looks of it. Soma Hill. The whip cracks heavily one after another as the major counts off one after another after another. Everyone here who is familiar with lashings as a punishment knows there are few people who could survive 40 in a row. This punishment is close to a death sentence. Suma is busy. That's okay, Ludwig is down there. My understanding is that so we're going to get out of here before the Imperials decide to do a little bit more than just him. Sergeant Sanders was head of security and as such was supposed to look after Lady Heidemann. They say this. That makes sense. They see this pushback as his failure, for not stopping her from getting captured. Hence the lashings. <clears throat> Didn't do his job, being punished. You don't have to watch Vito too. Don't want to. My back is burning. Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, I am I'm partially responsible for this. So, I. Be back in a second. I have to watch.
And how do you feel about this? Not as a bloody fool. Correct. All of this, that's on her. They say it's on Sanders. He's apparently assigned to protect her, but... If she goes off on her own without telling anybody. <clears throat> well, he's apparently head of security. So her capture is a breach of security. So they see that as his failure and everything that came from it. The failure we suffered at the front today. I could promise you this. If she does manage to get back. She will be on an extremely short leash. <laughs> she is the Robber Baron's only bargaining chip right now. She is the only thing keeping the Imperials out of this fight. She's not coming back anytime soon, unless something drastic happens. Which is why we need to somehow save her. <sighs> She's apparently being held at Trello Keep. I was part of the people that went in there the first time. After that, there's no way we can get through. Their security would be tripled. It'd be a tall fucking order. I was thinking about it. Then perhaps somebody a little bit more experienced at infiltration. Than me. Aye. Because at this point, that's our only hope. That, or... There's always one other group around here that could participate, but it's a long shot. Go on. Deserters. How many of them are around? Couldn't tell you. Not enough to replenish what we lost today. Better than Make nothing. way. Make way. Excuse me. Come on. Come on. No one needed 45 lashings. No one. <laughs> Fuck. Godless. I could carry him if it would be better. After him, I must have probably very weak from the lashing. 45. I've got more fight than I thought. I would kill a normal person. Yep. How many lashings did they receive? 45. And he's still moving. God. Albeit barely. Probably time to disperse and let them do their thing. Don't you swing them. But less of a thing we have to do. They're discussing. Just. Or are they punishing somebody else? Uh, isn't that Ludwig? I do not know them by name. What? Now. Sanders was already given at least four your lashings yeah. for this one. I don't know. Looks <sighs> like he's gonna get three rounds in him. So 
Sergeant. Quick word. Yes. <clears throat> Our palisade is that past the emissary. This side. Yes, it's right in front of the Radad encampment. The one that's just next to the embassy. That's where the lines are now. They have siege uh, engines on the other side of the bridge between... Bridge and Cassetto. Not Cassetto. Cross. Keys. We fucking crumbled. That is... Watch out, come after. She needs to be watched, remember? Okay. That's going to happen when we are outnumbered three to one. No, I understand. It's not on you at all. I understand. It's just a shame. So that's... We also lost a lot today. I know. We lost a quarter of all of our fighting forces. And we only have about 200 two. left. Under the control of the robber baron. We're going to be announcing soon that any travel on the north road is off limits. Smart. Inquisitor. Surprised to see you here, Lord Odard. Oh. Sergeant. Tell me. What do you think is important in order to maintain a standard within a rank of military men? Discipline. What would you call a man failing to look after his charge, not once, but twice? A failure. That man, Private Friedrichs, has a clean record. The one that was executed. Served quite well up till now. When we say serve well, he did his job, he did it cleanly. There were no special accolades outside of clean service and bravery. The man was no um, protege, but he was a good man. But the one mistake he made was so catastrophic that it might have outcost all that he's done. Should a man like that be spared in the hopes that they may do better with the threat of the men beginning to think that perhaps no one that is derelict of their duty will be punished or was this the right course of action i think it depends on the situation but given how dire what happened is it is war one person's failure can lead to the death of many if this is how you install discipline, it's not my call to say otherwise. Merely curious on what you think, Lord. Of course. Major? Well, Lord Hart, I have a message from your father, and it is very important if you have the time. Very well. Wherever you find the most convenient to have this conversation. Behind closed the doors, most I secure. Come with me. Well, that's over. Wait, alright. Slow down. 
and no, but a few hours ago, no. I was on the front, and then I was pushed back no. to the no. embassy, and now they're sending me back. Right. I have no idea what's going on. I have no clue. As though it's not ours. Oh, it's not. I don't know yet. I'm going to put this away for now. Oh, I have to go equip. Is he not come back? Or? Be safe, uh, uh, out there. Hmm. Uh, so uh, you too, Marcus. I you too. I haven't checked yeah. the chart yet. Hmm. On both sides. I will go on it. Ah, uh, well, that's secure. Minus 12 feathers. You will excuse my silence, these streets have ears. Oh no, I'm very aware. <coughs> mm. Gotta be frustrating though. <laughs> Having to watch. You know, I have half the mind to suit up and just ride out there to see if he's there. <coughs> is, um, I'm about to hear a message from him. Private, I mean. Hi. Um, I'll be making some tea. Thank you, Marcus. Sure. <laughs> Almost missed the horns. 112 men dead. 112 for a dodd, man. 100... Yes. An outcome I did not want, but an outcome we're having to live with as of current. All of the Imperials... Per... Odrasco's Bowmane's demands... State the following. The Imperials are to not intervene or aid the Radar dynasty in military or civilian actions. All men must be pulled from the front line and the embassy. No supplies or quartering will be allowed between the Imperials and the Radar's. Failure to comply will result in one Lady Heidemann's execution. I figured as much. I knew this was coming. That missive was sent earlier this morning. He began his assault shortly after. He's wasting no time. No. Your father has seen fit to enlist the aid of rangers and elves and wood elves to trap the area he is currently occupying. He's going to make the robber baron fight for every on the table, please. Every inch mm. of land. Thank you, Marcus. But he has pushed Hi. his siege weapons to the other side of the river. He is in sieging distance of the baron's military camp and soon at the embassy. He's gained over a mile. Yep. Your father has stated that the barons are going to want a farm man, and seeing how Lord Erdhart is the head of the military operations of the Redods, not only him, but his house will be getting the brunt of their anger and the public's anger. I see. They will see it as a failure. Trust me, I did not want this outcome, but this is the one we have. I... Not sure if I fully believe you there, Dario. I'm honest. I despise you and your father, trust me, I do. I want nothing more, however, than this war to end, and your name and your father's name being dragged through the mud does not help me, nor the capture of my diplomat. Mm -hmm. I want nothing more than the robber baron's head on a pike, yet here we are. Besides the point. I advised your father, seeing how we are leaving the embassy behind, that if it is his necessary, or if he so wishes, he may occupy it 
And in fact, he's going to. He will pick some of his most loyal, most trusted of the barony. Shock troopers that have been loyal since the previous baron. And he will hold the embassy. This will buy us time. And this will not allow the robber baron to push his siege equipment to the borders of Nodus, to where he begins sieging the city. But it is not an indefinite amount of time. And they'll need supplies. We cannot openly trade with the embassy <clears throat> of the Imperium. What do you recommend? A few of my men understand the embassy inside and out. They know the weaknesses. I've been ensuring that that place becomes a fortress in a sense like this. But I did not expect this outcome. It has some flaws. But a few men know. A back door, if you would. We would be able to supply your father with rations and, and some equipment. However, it cannot be Imperial equipment due to the fact that the robber baron would notice and his agreements would be broken. We could give your father whatever he needed to survive for a time. Okay. So it can't be Imperial, so it has to be from the Redods, even though we're stretched to our fucking limits now. It would have to be in the dead of night. The robber baron will more than likely take the ground Lord Erdhard has now. He will push past the embassy if he so wishes. But he will not push up his siege equipment in a fear of him sallying and destroying it. If we are able to sneak teams in the dead of night, Imperial and Redod, or anyone of knowledge of a back door, we could supply your father and keep him going with his skeleton crew on the side of the rations and what he needs. But once those walls are broken, and we're not back in the fight, not this is next. We can take the supplies that were originally going to Belono and divert them then. Since we no longer hold Most of the supplies have also found... Being... The walls are weeks away from being done. I don't have enough. Most of the supplies have also fallen into the barony's hands. I doubt that they would agree to such a clandestine operation. As it would. Hmm. It will more than likely have to be Imperial rations, but if it keeps your father alive to keep the robber baron at bay... Ends justify the means. take the chance. Okay, what do you need from my end? We'll make it happen. The whereabouts of Lady Heidemann is unknown to me, but I would only presume she is brought deep into enemy lines. So her rescue is off the table as of current. If it's a town or keep, then the likelihoods of even getting her there are slim to none. What I need you to do is prepare for the backlash from the barons. They are going to rain down hard. If they cannot grab your father, they'll grab you. I can try and stall them. But we need to give your father enough time to get into the embassy. And you need to garner what support and supplies you can to keep the war front at bay, or aid us in sneaking supplies into the embassy. That operation I'll spearhead myself. <clears throat> I'll assist you in any way options. doing that, at least. Once he's in there, how long will it take him until he's set? We'll be out of the embassy before the end of day. Most of the supplies have been moved. I doubt he'll want to take it now. He will more than likely take it when he's been routed. He's ensuring what he leaves behind. Mess for the robber baron. You couldn't leave hidden caches of supplies in the embassy? 
From my understanding, the robber baron has eyes watching the embassy and inside the streets. I do not know who, I do not know where, but any form of operations done now will make him suspicious. If it is redawed men doing it, I doubt he'll do anything. All right. <sighs> 2,000 men unable to do anything until we retrieve Lady Heidemann. And that task is impossible. Yeah, she really fucked us there. If I cannot supply men to the wolf front, then I will supply whatever else I can to stall. <clears throat> I understand we are at odds, Erdhart. You dislike me, I dislike you. But the one thing we have in common is we want out of this mess. And we'll see too that it's done. I need something to bring to the barons. To show that we're not completely incapable. Thing to appease them. Your father has told some of the squad leaders to spread misinformation. That the front today was a somewhat success at stalling the robber baron. Yes, they killed a third of our army. And what we delivered the same casualties to him. Spread that however you so wish. Understood. Disseminate those rumors for people who ask. Hi. It would also be your best interest to ensure that anyone of importance, even yourself, do not leave notice without a guard. Or multiple. Yeah, he's got a Heidemann brother. was taken in the dead of night with some aid. But here we are. <sighs> Hostage exchange, is that possible? We can try to find last known whereabouts. Oh. Should be behind enemy lines. The robber baron is keeping 2,000 plus men at bay. Even if it was a hostage exchange, he would not give up his haste in the hall so easily. I don't even think we have someone in custody that's that important. Okay, hear me out. We probably won't do this, but this is just a hypothetical. Lady Baron, the Baroness. The Baroness? He has a thing for her. Oh dear. That's the only person I could think of. Obviously, we won't do it, but... That's a gambit of himself. And besides, what stops him from once he, he has her in custody, he keeps Heidemann. Again, 2,000 men or one lady. He's a man of the people, yes, but he's also tactically smart. Okay. Figure out where Lady Heidemann is first. She would be nowhere near the front lines. No. And even if we're able to sneak anyone past the lines, God knows where she would be. But we're running in circles at this point. Agreed. I will do what I can to supply yourself and your father without the robber baron knowing. Your father will not be left to die alone in that keep. How many men does he have? Give him what he needs. The most loyal, shock troopers, veterans of the barony. My guess, anywhere from 70 to 50. That was my guess. Are we telling the barons that we're holding the embassy? I feel like that's the only win I can give them. My worry is that the keep even has ears. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything for these uh, supply missions, if you need people that can see in the dark, etc., etc. 
We can have some can more of mind. the loyal Redod soldiers help navigate the terrain. They know it better than Imperials. But we'd have to be careful on who we pick. And we have our back doors. I'll pick my most loyal. And who know that fortification inside and out. We'll plan something in the days to come. In the meantime, though, prepare. Your name is going to be smeared throughout the streets. The people are going to be mad. That is your first and foremost focus. Understood. Thank you, Dario. That is all I have. I wish it was... better. Truly, I do. We're not out of the fight yet. Hmm. That is all. Take care, Lord Edhard. And you. Safe travels, Major. Start disseminating okay. the rumor that we at least fought them to a standstill. Or at the very least, inflicted casualties <laughs> similar to ours. Right. And that we're holding. Make sure other people... How are you holding up? <laughs> fucking as... Probably as good as the front line right now. <laughs> well, don't buckle, okay? Never. God. Dad lives in a coma for oh, three thanks. fucking days. Wakes up and the first thing he does <laughs> right. is go and put himself in a siege. I don't even get to say hi. Do we... Do we need to be out there? With him? We can do more from in here. You know? More from here. I can kill a lot of people. You can kill a lot of people, but uh, against that many robber barons, men. Ah, oh, yeah, we can. We could take hundreds, like by ourselves. That's no, light work. But all this, even like yesterday, I, I feel so out of place. <laughs> you know. I know how you feel. We're playing the cards we're dealt, though, and uh, the shit hands, but. And there's more anti-drow sentiment by the day. It's getting worse. Yeah, and I'm losing power to do anything about it now, so... Mm. The best thing we can do is try and make the Erdhards look better in the public opinion any way we can. So prep for that. I did hear yesterday, you might... <sighs> this might be a little bit more important. I was working at the soup kitchen with uh, Miss Marin. Mostly humans in there. What they had mentioned was, for some odd reason, they're under the impression, though the average person of Nardis is under the impression that they should hold to those who are most like them in these times of strife. That's me summarizing it down. But in that soup kitchen, they're like, Ben, let's hold to our own. But they did not include the dwarves or the elves or you know, anyone else. They're starting to bubble and buckle in. I don't know how we can do anything about that. Well, you're a human. Start trying to instill better ideals into them, I guess. If you can. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I have the human privilege. I'll, I'll try. Do your best. I know you will. It's true. It's your thing, man. I'll, uh, I'll go tell people we, at least we mm. had a fighting chance. And, uh, thanks again for yesterday. What are you gonna do? <sighs> sure. And I will not let you go alone to <laughs> other places, I'll let but... you know if I leave. Uh, what are you planning for today? Yeah. Walk around. Face the music, I guess. Help anyone that needs help. Do we know... I, I feel like we should be asking people if they had been with Miss Ladia before uh, the disappearance. Maybe they know something. Those that were the Imperials have already... Oh. Damn. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, get on out there. Well, let's get to it. Clifford. Uh, are you done talking over... For now. I just... 
I got no real easy some answers I want to open you. I'm cutting out again, friend. I hate this mic. It's rough. I want to get some answers, if at all possible. Make it quick, since I know you probably have some duties to attend to, can all things considered now, but... What do we know about the Robber Baron? In terms of? Who he is, who he once was, and why he's fighting this war. I know he left the Radads because of their bickering and infighting between the two of them. And he's basically stationed himself some, some ways out of, the, of Nautis itse itself and recruiting men that are loyal to him. That's pretty much the gist of it, in short terms, yes. And I'm guessing he wants to come and take the barony for himself. Or anyone, he just doesn't want the Redods to have it. And what's the problem with that? The fact that we're backed by the Redods. I know, but... <laughs> We're about to be besieged. Okay. The embassy cannot. Robber Baron rolls in, next. takes the keep, becomes the person in charge of Nautis. Council, back at Coricadus, will not allow it. They can't just allow any fucking upstart to come in and just seize control over provinces and such. They'll send their navy, they'll come in here and attack him as well. So even if we do install him, we lose him anyway. Not to mention he broke his word by saying that he was the Castilian who was supposed to look after these two boys. He was supposed to lead them and direct them. He didn't do that. He bailed on them when they needed him. He's charismatic, yes. He has points, yes. But as it stands, we've backed ourselves by the Redots. That's where we are right now. If we let the Robber Baron come through, we lose everything. Every footing that Arn and I have tried to make everything so it wouldn't really matter who it wouldn't really matter if we won the war or even lost the war we're fucked either way one step at a time <sighs> cause right now it's been pushed back the river baron <clears throat> nothing else works until that's done And without the Imperials, we're kind of screwed on that front. Very much so. So then what's the plan? We get back Ladia, get back the support of the Imperials, and we push them back all the way to Kingdom Come? If we can. Right now, I need to save face because the general population is not going to look good on this. They're going to see this as an Erhard failure. And since they can't get to Arn, they're going to get to me. <sighs> We need to disseminate the following information among people, just casually. This was not a huge loss. Right. We weren't pushed back incredibly far. We lost a lot of men, yes, but we dealt damages to them too. We fought them to a standstill the best that we could, even without the Imperium. That is the narrative that people need to know, even the barons. Because otherwise I lose power. I can't do anything. I have less control over the populace. The guards don't want to fucking talk to me because I'm killing their men. The Redods won't give me the things I need to do to establish what we need. Understand? I understand. <sighs> I'll get it, but I have one more question. Mm. If the Redods do fall, who would be next to take their step? If we were to do a coup or something, who would be next in line to take it that we could trust? I don't know what you mean by that. If we cooed, even after this, even before this fight's over, we suddenly have no union in our ranks. The Imperiums will not allow it. It's... I don't know. The 
only way I could feel is that we could truly get out of this is if we were to get Ladia back and start pushing back with the Imperials, or we supplant one of the Redots. <laughs> it's just thoughts in my mind. I'm not saying we do take action. I'm not saying we do anything. It's just, just thoughts in my mind. hold for now, one step at a time. Oh, wow. And then somehow gets paid mm. for it. <laughs> oh, hello, Clifford. Come on in, everyone, I suppose. Fenora. Morning. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 